This buffer uh, question is ideal when you have equal concentration of both the salt and the acid. It's a perfect buffer because if you squeeze it into the equation of Henderson Hasselbalch, pH equals pKa plus log of concentration of salt over concentration of acid. Now what happens if the two concentrations are equal, the log term goes to zero and goes away. Now pH uh, is being challenged, what is pH? pKa of the acid is given 4.76 plus log of, now put in your calculator then remember it. Let's just put the same numbers over each other, so 0.1 and 0.1, that's log of 1 and log of 1 is simply zero. So pH equals pKa and it's equal to 4.76. And this is how you should prepare buffered of a uh, desired pH. Now let's look at another uh, question similar to this, a little bit more involved. How would you prepare a buffer of pH 3.75 starting with methanoic acid which has the same pKa? So then what is the case that pH is equal to pKa? It's when log is log of 1 when your numerator concentration of the salt is equal to denominator. So 3.75 equals to 3.75 plus log, this has to become log of 1. So concentration of the salt should equal concentration of the acid. Now one way you can do this is by adding methanoic acid to strong base but the quantities are important. So let me write methanoic acid which is uh, HCOOH. Now let's just add sodium hydroxide to it. This is neutralization. You will produce um, sodium methanoate. So the last H is being substituted by sodium plus H2O. Now let's say I'm going to start with 50 cm cube of this acid and one mole per decimeter cube concentration. Now for sodium hydroxide I'm going to take half of that, 25 cm cube of same concentration. Why do I do that? Because I want the strong base to be the limiting reactant and go away and half of my acid to be left over and equal amount of salt being produced. Uh, let's just prove that. So we find moles, which is concentration times volume. Uh, volume, we take three decimal places back times uh, concentration. So this is 0 0.050 moles of acid. And same treatment for, for the base is 0 0.025 moles of sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide is limiting reactant. It's going to be consumed. And what happens, you are going to produce the same amount of moles of the uh, salt as limiting. So 0 0.025 moles of salt comes to life. Now how much of your acid you have left over? The limiting is going to eat it. So you have 0 0.025 moles left over. Acid left over. Okay, now this is perfect situation because in this case pH is equal to pKa plus log of salt over acid. So pH was 3.75 that we wanted, pKa was 3.75 plus log of, now we are hoping this is log of 1, the ratio is 1. Concentration of the salt is moles of the salt divided by the total volume. Total volume is sum of 25 and 50, which is 75 cm cube or 0 0.075 decimeter cube. So this is concentration of your salt. Now concentration of your acid is same thing, 0 0.025 moles divided by total concentration, which is 0 0.075 decimeter cube. This is definitely uh, log uh, 1, and log of 1 is 0, therefore pH equals pKa. So this is one way to prepare a buffer of desire.